What's going on guys? Frank here from Urban Athletics. Ryan, Urban Athletics. And we're here to talk to you about a product today from Kratos Labs. Um, this product is Osterine. It is a SARM, which is a selective androgen receptor modulator. Um, for those athletes who don't want to get into hardcore anabolic such as steroids or pro-hormones, um, SARMs are a safer uh, alternative as far as those who are looking to take their fitness to the next level and not worrying about um, severe side effects. So this particular SARM, Osterine, um, it was first created to help with um, bone disease, osteoporosis, things of that nature. Um, they found that it was very anabolic in skeletal and muscle tissues. All right, so as far as this particular SARM, um, it helps with muscle building, recovery, nitrogen retention, and nutrient partitioning. All, that's pretty much what steroids do, right? It helps with yeah. muscle building, nitrogen retention especially, and uh, nutrient partitioning. So, um, but with, the, with this particular SARM, it doesn't affect your hormones negatively like steroids or pro-hormones because it selectively works with your androgen receptors. It doesn't activate all of them in your body. And one big keynote uh, that a lot of people don't realize, or, or it, it, not to get too scientific or technical, there's things that are anabolic and things that are androgenic. Androgenic is, is what people think of are the kind of the negative side effects of taking any sort of anabolics, mm -hmm. uh, testosterone, or steroids, or the cases. Um, the an androgenic effects of those are the, the deepening of the voice, the increased hair uh, on, the, on the body, the loss of hair, um, you know, falling hair on top of your head, whatever the case is. Those are androgenic side effects. Mm -hmm. The great thing about a lot of these SARMs are by opening the selective androgen receptors, it allows your body to have the anabolic effects. Without of, all the side effects. Without the side effects. Now it's not a miracle. You're not gonna gain 30 pounds in two months or anything like that, like some might mark it. It's, it's not gonna be as strong as a steroid, but it's a great alternative and a safer alternative. But you have to keep in mind that these were created um, to be taken with safety. So, as far as Osterine, I find that the sweet spot dose is anywhere from 25 to 30 milligrams uh, per day. Um, once you start getting into the higher doses, at maybe 45 or 50 milligrams, that's when you're gonna have side effects. So just keep in mind that this was created, uh, you know, not to be abused, but once you start getting into the higher doses, that's when this really uh, loses its safety as far as a product. And also it loses effect too. It's not, this is one of those things where the more you take, the, the more gains you get. Um, it's in a lot of ways, it's almost like if you take a lot of pre-workout and you start to need more and more and more, um, it's become a little bit less effective. This does become somewhat less effective when you start. I may have heard of people doing 60 milligrams of this. It's, mm. it's not necessary. You don't need it. Yeah. Um, not to mention the fact, uh, in what I believe in the kind of a, a theory that I think most of us here at Urban Athletics um, and most people who are intelligent with how they treat their body when they when it comes to bodybuilding, it really is about what, what I call what we call minimal effective dose. What's the least amount of the whatever product I'm taking? To get the most effect or get the effect from it, yeah, you could you could take a bottle of this, which is not recommended, and it would not be as effective as taking the dose of 25 milligrams or whatever it is. So one, you're wasting product. Two, you're doing harm to your body, actually harming your body. And last but not least, you're you're with your androgen receptors. These things become desensitized, mm -hmm. and when you blast it with with products. You, you essentially minimize the amount of results you can get because your body can only uptake so much, number one. Number two, it becomes desensitized to the product that you're giving it. So do yourself a favor. One, don't hurt yourself with it. And two, understand like Frank said, this is a product that was scientifically developed for a very specific purpose and the use in bodybuilding is a byproduct of that purpose. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal, however, um, it needs to be moderated and used in the correct dosage and you'll see some really, really, really incredible results. Absolutely. So, and the good thing about Kratos Labs, um, it's tested for purity, all their, all their SARMs. So, um, by far, one of my favorite supplement companies on the market. 
uh, have high respect for them. Um, so this SARM, Osterine, I've used it many times. Um, as far as you trying to put on weight, it's not going to really be what it's used for. It's going to benefit people who are trying to cut but also want to keep their muscle. So if you're going to do a recomp and take in less calories, um, you'll still keep your strength and muscle that you have. So that's where this product really shines. It's a good strength agent. Yeah, but I haven't used it, um, but I know a lot of people that have and they, they've enjoyed it. So, so Kratos Labs, the SARM, Osterine. And for women, women too, before you oh, we close out. Yes, um, at low doses, um, women can benefit from this and they won't have to worry about um, secondary sex organs changing. Um, you don't have to worry about blood pressure or anything like that um, being raised. Um, they could take uh, 10 or 15 milligrams a day uh, for 46 weeks without any issues and they'll have a great benefit from this product. Men, they could take, like I said, 20 to 30 milligrams a day, 46 weeks and they'll have the benefits. And especially for women during their prep, um, for any of you out there who are doing <coughs> competition prep, uh, just do a little research into it, but this could be a really, really great alternative uh, to some of the other stuff out there in the mm -hmm. market for women doing prep. Um, there are compounds out there, uh, such as Anabar and stuff like that, which essentially help you preserve muscle loss. And this, in a lot of ways, has a very similar benefit mm -hmm. in, in that department with regard to being on a calorie deficit, but not wanting to burn through all your muscle tissue that you took so long to develop. Um, so it might be a really good option for, for women, again, at lower, a little bit lower doses, um, to help keep the muscle that you've, you've gained and at the same time um, help keep your strength there so that you can burn through those workouts, especially those last four or five weeks of prep. So it could be a good, a good alternative, definitely. So Osterine, awesome SARM, Kratos Labs, check them out. Good deal.